Hey, good morning. This is Julie. It is Saturday, July or January 28th. July, my goodness. January 28th. I know I had a J in it. Um, take a look at the disclaimer real quick. I'm going to be going over the uh, market analyzer today and um, show you some tricks and some explanation of what I've used for my market analyzer. Um, most of you have seen my red, white candles, and I use a Heiken Ashi um, candle, and I'll explain that to you also, and I use that in my market analyzer. So when you have the weekly, daily, 60 and 15 moving all in the same direction, that helps, obviously, with the trend direction or the direction of the bar that you'd like to take a trade, hopefully for a... Um, a nice trading opportunity. Um, the reason I like the Heiken Ashi, forget about these um, wicks, um, well, don't forget about them. You don't want to trade, forget about trading when you see these wicks is what I'm trying to say. Uh, when you see a bunch of wick action, that just means the market is um, confused about the direction it's going to go, up or down, up or down, up or down. You want to see a nice price action smooth price action, breaking out of an area, taking off, and you can, you know, take any chart and go back in your history and see these breakouts of these ranges, and that's what we're looking for, and this is the soybean mill, ZM, and you can see that when they break out just before the RTH session starts, it can go the entire session and that's you know what we're looking for nice smooth price action not a bunch of wicks up and down when you see up and down wicks uh, just sit on your hands um, because you'll just get chopped up trying to get to that breakout point but you can see this market does like to run this is the market analyzer template and this is what you're seeing in the um, weekly daily 6015 here. So um, it is smoothed with a Heiken Ashi, and that allows me to separate out all this noise. So this is what it would look like otherwise, where you would just see a bunch of red, green, red, green, red, green, and instead I can get a nice smooth direction for you to take your trade with another algorithm mixed in with that smoothing. So um, there's two things going on with that Heiken Ashi in the market analyzer. And go back to the stock school on this so that you can see it. Um, right here, the chart school, um, you can see that it is an average of the last um, high, low, open, and close. So that last high, low, open, and close, they average it. They divide that by four, and then they add that to the high, high can actually, the prior high can actually high open and the close and the um, high can actually high minus the high can actually open and close and then they average that into the low versus the prior low or the high can actually, you, anyway, it, the formula is right here, it's kind of complicated. But after you get all of that, then you can find that smoothness that we're looking for. So here's the example that they're using where you would get a down and up candle, but the hike and ashy just keeps you in the trade. And so once we get that concept down that we want to keep in that direction, then we can enter on our lower time frame, Unirinko. Let me set up a Unirinko on this. Because once you get your direction down, then you can set up a um, 
nice smooth unirinko to get inside that direction and take the trade. Um, now this is the market analyzer template. This isn't one of my other templates. So let me load, hang on a second. Let me load one of my other templates for you. So once you get the direction, you can put whatever um, indicators you want on your chart for support resistance. Um, and, you know, pivot points, Fibonacci's, whatever you would like to do so that when you see a turn at a prior support resistance area, and you want to go long, you can enter um, at that support resistance area. Uh, or with trend, just taking a um, trend trade uh, with that direction, so trading short, you know, set your chart up. If you've got weekly, daily, 60, 15 going short, just set your chart up just to take the, the shorts and that way you're eliminating all the noise inside of this so you see how messy that was over here um, even with all that mess um, if you were just wanting to take a directional trade long or short you have a much better chance at getting some ticks at a turn, at a location, and closing your trade. So taking profits, I mean, you have a much, much better chance just even with a messy, messy chart like that by picking a direction with the market analyzer and trading that direction. So it's putting the odds in your favor waiting for a turnaround. Uh, if you want to, you know, the template has some other settings that you can try if you just want to stay out of the middle chop and only take trend trades. You can set it like that. And then, of course, again, as a day trader, I'm not sitting there trying to make um, a weekly run. I'm trying to get a certain number of ticks every day shut it down, wait for the next day, wait for my highest probability trade opportunity, and then go to that chart. Here's the NQ. Let's look at, see how that looked. Weekly, daily, 60, 15, all the same direction. So we would want longs. So you just go to your chart. You know the direction that you're trying to trade. So there's no trend trades. And that was all choppy sideways, but here was a trend trade, and you can see how lovely they are. They get you in when the market turns. So easy peasy, helping you land some bags, some tips, you know, bags of money. I said, yeah, you know, uh, ticks. I can't talk today. I'm just having a hard time. I said July and tips instead of ticks. I better go get my brain looked at. Um, it is early in the morning, and um, so my apologies, but you get the point. Market analyzer um, with my templates to enter a position during that time frame. Let's go back and look at the NQ. Even if you weren't in a trend, it would, you know, the trend long is not going to take a long just because it's long but if you just want to go long you can have that option to go long at each long turn but that doesn't mean necessarily it's going to be profitable if it's going sideways and flat it's 
you just get chopped up. And that's what happened yesterday. The volatility just fell off the planet and there was nothing really to do. So, um, but here were your trend trades and um, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for when the market has volatility, it's moving in a direction, boom, you're in. So let's go back and just take one more look. Heike and Ashy, weekly daily 6015. You can even put the Heike and Ashy on a chart. The mar I mean the market analyzer with your um, Heike and Ashy and sort of have this on one monitor. And then on a separate monitor, have your entry chart so that you can be flipping through these um, charts. Um, what I like to do is just look at my 15 minute and make sure that my 15 minute is locked in. Um, now the, the, the monitor here on the market analyzer does not wait for the close. It will show instantly when that condition in my algorithm is met. So this might be flipping back and forth between red and green on this 15 minute so if you would like to trade once your candle has closed that 15 minute or your 60 minute uh, for a day trade um, be aware that once that candle closes they usually come back and retrace in a bit um, so um, sometimes it's better to be water watching the monitor and engage a trade once it locks in over here even though you might be still seeing red over here it's actually green because uh, this does not wait for the close on the market analyzer the chart does the chart is tied to the close so i can hit my turns and if you want to open your chart up and see what the um momentum is doing you know please do so make sure you're still good does not look like much divergence here it looks like it's still strong on the weekly let's restore this still strong on the daily oh. and oops all of a sudden you can see that volatility so you would be telling yourself that is not strong at all there's a an attempt to come back to the prior high and look at that momentum and that surely was evidenced yesterday because the volatility fell off the planet so I wouldn't necessarily look here this is just not showing you much but that 60 minute is really showing you that this is really getting worn out people are starting to take their marbles off the table okay so here is your 200 200 200 200 well above so after retracement we're going to go back long right okay this is Julie, JOTA Trading Strategies, using the Market Analyzer to time entries. Thank you so much. I'll have a good one.